Ivy of any assistance by Harry Bluff, Edison Bale Records. <laughs> For being so helpful, my brothers admire his spirit, you'll all understand. And only last Wednesday, something transpired when he thought that he could give a hand. The draymen had struck at a neighboring brewer's, they were forty large barrels of beer. But to shift it among all those great evildoers, they couldn't find one volunteer. The governor was standing with tears in his eyes, surveying the job from a distance. Tom walked up to him with a notion sublime, said, I consider this fight is a crime. I've shifted a barrel or two in my time. Can I be of any assistance? A poor married friend of mine fell very ill, and he sat with him early and late. To round the poor chap, we all tried with a will, but he seemed in a comatose state. We told funny tales we thought might interest him, we sang and we danced to him too. But all was in vain, for it only distressed him. We didn't know what we should do. The doctor remarked, there is only one hope, one chance for the poor chap to listen. We must give him a shock, it's a good thing I've read. Show him suddenly something of which he's in dread. Then his mother-in-law came from her corner and said, Can I be of any assistance? My maiden aunt Martha last Saturday week had home made a very short call. She left in a hurry because she could speak at a meeting at Exeter Hall. I gave her my escort as far as the station, even late, so we both had to race. We had rushed down the stairs into her indignation. The door was slammed right in her face. My aunt was annoyed, as you all may suppose, as she really had run quite a distance. Said she, the train's gone and there isn't a tram. I've no language to tell her how indignant I am. Then a nanny was flanked, he said, Lord, love me, man. Can I be of any assistance? <laughs>